one thing that you said earlier stuck with me was that now you understand that you don't have to have this thing called, we call it achievement. And you've learned it through this book, right? What was your mental model for that while you were in these jobs as CEO, right? What, what was your thinking? Like, I have to be the CEO well, of this company. I have to go from there. What was that like? The point is that is uh, this many of us and myself, I'm probably one of the worst um, sort of examples of this. We get on a achievement treadmill. Mm -hmm. And it happens unconsciously and it happens very early in life, right? When you're a, you know, a young child going to school, you know, your parents and teachers applaud and reward you and recognize you and shower love when you do well. Uh -huh. And they are not so affectionate and loving when you don't do well. Uh -huh. okay. So as a young person, you start getting conditioned. Oh, the love and the affection and the recognition is conditional. It's conditional on my being a star at sports, a star at studies, or an all-rounder, <clears throat> better yet. Then the same thing happens, and so you start getting on this achievement treadmill that goes stays with you through college, and you get into a job, and then you find that the company and your manager are nicer to you when you are both obedient and respectful, as well as you, are, you turn in astonishing results. And so you continue to do that. And now by now you're hooked on recognition. You're, you'll do anything for that praise, that promotion, that raise. And you, you're like a dog that's you know, conditioned to doing tricks for a little treat, for treats. And at some point you wake up and you say, well, it's just not fun anymore. I'm just not having uh, fun performing this way. And that's sort of a midlife crisis. And, you know, people react differently. But, you know, if you're smart, you'll start saying, look, I need to shed this conditioning, which is in my mind. My mind has been programmed in a really harmful way. I'm going to get uh, redo the, the, the programming of my mind. I'm going to redefine what success means. And I'm going to live my life um, using my own success metrics. Now, this is a very simple sentence. It is incredibly hard to do. It's like, you know, a cocaine addict, you know, having to wean themselves off a drug habit. Much worse than that. It's much deeper. So it has taken me 10 years to, you know, by and large, overcome uh, this, these things and get off that treadmill. Subscribe for more of this good stuff. See y'all in the next one.